Hi, this is Vaibhav Vaitya with the Fits on the Go block here at the 25th anniversary of the Legislative Conference in Washington, D.C. We are joined today by Dr. Paul Casal, who is a member of the Board of Trustees at ACC. Thank you for joining us. Thank you. I appreciate the opportunity. Great. Um, so, Dr. Casal, can you tell us more about what was the SGR, why was it repealed, and what is MACRA, which is something that's put in place in, in place of the SGR now? Sure, sure. Um, so the SGR was the sustainable growth rate, which was uh, the uh, formula that was originally uh, passed several years ago to uh, update the uh, physician payment schedule. And uh, the problem was that it was uh, linked to uh, uh, inflationary measures. And it turns out that the uh, general increase in inflation was much lower than the uh, increase in uh, physician um, costs over time. So what would happen is that uh, every year we would go to Congress and ask them to uh, readjust because if they didn't, the physician payment would be reduced anywhere up to 21 percent reduction in their payment uh, fee schedule. So year after year, uh, for the last uh, several years, we've uh, gone to Congress and they have passed these patches. So. Uh, what Congress decided to do was to replace the SGR uh, with uh, MACRA, which is the uh, Medicare Access and Chip Reauthorization Act. And so what they did was instead of <coughs> updating every year, what they, what they did is they created a, a program which basically links uh, the payment to uh, quality measure and outcome. Um, and they do that through uh, one of two pathways. One is uh, through uh, uh, participation in alternative payment models, and uh, the other is through a, uh, a MIPS or a merit-based uh, incentive uh, payment system. So that's a great summary for uh, fellows who are out there. So under MACRA, they're going to be tying reimbursement to the value of the care that is provided more than the volume is what we've been hearing. So h how do they plan to try, you know, tie together the value of the care provided to the reimbursement? Like what will constitute value under MACRA? Right. So when you think of value, you think of uh, the, the components which are um, cost and quality. So one of the challenges and what they're putting out in this uh, uh, bill is, is to measure in particular quality of care. And so they, uh, for cardiology, uh, there are a multitude of uh, quality measures that they can link to uh, specific uh, diagnoses. Uh, and in addition, they've also added other components, which include uh, what was the old uh, meaningful use, uh, which again, part of that was trying to link uh, quality to the use of the EMR. Uh, they also have uh, practice improvement modules as part of it. And finally, they want, uh, in, in, in MACRA, they have uh, actually cost or resource use as one of the uh, components. So that the idea is over time, the physicians will have uh, responsibility for overall resource use uh, for the Medicare patients. Got it. Wonderful. Well, thank you for joining us today. Um, for more videos like this, please go to youtube.com slash fits on the go.